Well, hello, you gorgeous mother truckers. Now, even though it is the day before the election, I am now going to go on something that I've been trying to tell people for months is coming. You've had recently Rishi talking about national service, which is nothing more than conscription by another name. You've had the US government pass a law to allow conscription to occur you've had the ministry of defense now explaining why veteran ids were issued to everybody so they know where we all are because it might be a good idea to start calling the veterans up because you wouldn't want to rely on the modern day stuff i've told you that you know nigel was right we've been poking the bear we're poking the bear we're carrying on equipment is being moved things are being moved and then we come up with this Andrew Bridgen, I am told by intelligence sources that President Biden has now authorised US military contractors to deploy to the Ukraine. I don't know how to tell you all this, but this is like, there's been, they've been there a long time. They've been there a long time. Same with uh, British um, contractors, shall we say. Meanwhile, as it shows you here, US bases in Europe have been placed on the highest level of alert. I believe we are days or weeks away from full NATO engagement in Eastern Europe. This is no time for novices in Parliament. This is no time for any of them, Andrew, because they've led us to this. They've walked us into this. They are deliberately trying to create nuclear Armageddon. It actually says here on the 1st of July, DOD News, US Department of Defence, US bases in Europe go to higher state of alert. U.S. commanders in Europe have been placed bases in higher states of alert, Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said today. The simple truth of the matter is, and I keep trying to tell you, and you keep calling me an idiot and a tin foil hat wearing thing, this is why the election was called. I did a stream on it and said, is this the reason why? And it is. While we are all distracted on who's going to get in and how much labor are going to screw the, the country and this and the other we're being distracted so all this all these major things have happened and been said since the election was called but we don't pay attention because we're more concerned about who's going to screw us all over more let's be honest ladies and gentlemen if it doesn't do something soon it won't matter i've told you this country will soon be reduced into rubble by either a civil war or a nuclear war and it's all right for those people going, oh, well, you know, this, that, and the other. But the simple truth of the matter is, if they do call up the young who are more confused about their gender and have no idea what sexuality they are and rather than be called by pronouns and don't even get shouted at in training anymore, it's going to take weeks to train them up. And the only people they have left who are prepared to fight have the skill set to fight are, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, veterans. Now you know why the veteran ID was rolled out. Now you know why the election was called. I keep, and I've been telling people for months, and no one really listens, we are right on the edge. You do not know how dangerous a situation that we are currently sitting in because you're either too worried about pronouns, too worried about how shit Doctor Who is, too worried about who you're going to vote for in an election, yeah, Unless somebody comes out and starts talking peace very, very quickly, we are all going to be dead. The only people who are talking about peace are reform. Don't listen to the Greens. The Greens are idiots. The Liberal Democrats, again, waste of time. Reform are the only ones who are prepared to increase defence spending, which is what we need to do because we are now perceived as extremely weak. But also, we'll only use it at last cause, not being pushed and walked into one for money to make the richer rich, while we all look forward to dying. It is important you get out there tomorrow and vote. Vote reform. Vote for peace. Vote for change any case with that one i'm done so until the next one this world's great nation you're right